Hi all, uh, as promised I will do a tutorial on how to make a AFR history table in Tunebro. Uh, we will start out by using uh, Tacticals files today, uh, just like we did last time. So we use the XDF and the ADX, like so. And we can see if we log we still see our load and RPM and our ECO is fetching data from the correct address corresponding to the logged values so this is all good <coughs> sorry so we go into edit AADX and go into history tables add new item and we will call it AFR history like so copy paste we want to use a, 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 a AFR object that we will create but we will like to use uh, 12 rows of index load and 14 columns of engine speed or RPM like so so we have our columns and we have our rows and now we just need a <coughs> output object I will show you how to make such a object uh, we go here and add new item I will call mine just uh, LC at like so copy paste uh, our range is from 7 to 23 AFR something like that and we wish to use the O2 uh, two digits yeah set and here comes the tricky part your your wired band might show something on the gauge and uh, something totally different in Tunipro this is why you need to calibrate those two to correspond to the same thing and uh, the LC1 the Innovate uses a range from 22.39 to uh, a lower range of 7.35 that makes a uh, total range of 15 AFR points so we need a high point, low point, uh, total uh, range of 8-bit uh, values and this is also our 8-bit value so these are indexed by each other and we want to raise the floor so to speak with uh, the lowest possible number which is zero so if it reaches zero we have uh, 7.35 this last number is a uh, offset number so if if the gauge shows 15.7 uh, I want it to show 15.7 in Tuner Pro 2 uh, so I offset that value by the error so to speak so I will use that one, this one as a example so let's paste okay now we have a value that we are going to use go back to our history and select that value LC1 okay save as let's call it uh, B LC1 like so save then I will show you how to edit the X and Y axis on the FR table in a much faster way than to manually edit in uh, Tuner Pro this is a quick and quick and dirty method uh, okay I need to open those two so let's take the LC1 Oi. Like so, and I also need the XDF for the axis. Okay, so we can find our AFR history right away, uh, rows and columns. But we need to find our stock load. I think it's what we called it. So now we need our <coughs> our column values, which are the RPM. 
so I will do a copy of those down to our column values let's see if we can make it right on the first try something like this I extend the paste area since I don't want uh, the decimal places and paste and check that the quotation marks are in the beginning and in the end and we have an equal sign yep and then we take our row values or load you want to copy a area that's uh, not into the equal sign since you might paste it in the equal sign also so you do a block mark like so and paste it looks pretty okay <coughs> sorry when we save this one now uh, I go back to Tuner Pro and drop it and go into the editor and click save it uh, reformats the the raw uh, XML file or what you want to call it to match the columns and uh, rows so you don't have to hand edit all this but you need to click save the first time before you do anything or it will not work and we will see yep we have our columns we have our AFR history uh, item let's insert our LC1 here also hmm. I tried uh, Tacticals LC1 before but it didn't work like supposed to uh, click OK and go into I think it was load macro I check no we need to add send O2 and response O2 like so and we can save and save it as C save save and now when we open up <coughs> our A4 history we get this night's table and when we start logging we get values that are going to be populated as the RPM and load goes up and down. You can see I have a fixed AFR since this is a test bench. So if you click most recent sample is the recent sample that will be shown uh, and if you go over the cells once more and you select the average you get the average instead. The average is good for use in uh, if you want to tune your car on the on the highway and want to tune for fuel economy or you go what uh, and uh, want to tune uh, max load and wide open throttle then you can also see uh, the data points but as we can see here the sample count can be very low on high rpm since the rpm will be, will be backing down and going up like this when going through the gears so this is how you do it you have to make a uh, a fourth history table i hope you like it bye